I don't think guys from 20 years ago could play in this game. Those are the words of KG to the New York Times. I'm Robin Lundberg here now with Ben Pickman and the fantasy exec Corey Parson. And guys, you know, I want to be fair because I don't want to do what I accuse others of doing. And, and I think great players from any era given the chance would adapt. But it's refreshing to me to hear KG say this because you usually see the older players say their era was so much better. And, and I watch the modern game and I go, it's so spread out. These guys are shooting from places they wouldn't even fathom doing back in the days that the, the older guard would have so much trouble handling them. Corey, you, you think KG's right here? Yeah, I think, you know, listen, I, I think it goes both ways. And I do, like, I agree with what you're saying. I give Kevin Garnett credit. Guys like Matt Bones and Steven Jackson and Paul Pierce have all said similar things uh, about the players 20 years ago. But what I agree with you that I think that they would adapt. When you look at the skill level of a guy like Kevin Garnett, Kevin Garnett could run the point in today's NBA. We know how great Allen Iverson was, Stephon Marbury, dynamic point guards, you know, Ray Allen. Put Ray Allen on the team now, and the way he spreads the court, you're going to be playing deep into the finals every year. So I think that players from 20 years ago could definitely adapt to today's game. Some of the big men probably would have more troubles. But listen, a guy like Tim Duncan is going to play well. A guy like Cadillac Williams, maybe not. Well, you, you have to be able to shoot for the most part. There's very few guys that can get away with not shooting. And, and, and you know, it just to me brings up the whole thing about defense when people are saying there's no defense. The, the way these guys are playing offense w was not seen then. You know, somebody like Kevin Durant who's seven feet tall, the way he shoots, or where Curry shoots from and, and all that. But what's interesting about it um, when it comes to KG for me, Ben, is he was part of that evolution in a way. Uh, you know, he didn't extend all the way out beyond the three-point line, but as more of a, a, a modern big man, if you will. Right, certainly a modern big man. But I think Corey really hit the nail on the head towards the end there by saying someone like Tim Duncan would succeed in this era. Michael Jordan would succeed. Hakeem Olajuwon, all those guys would succeed in this era and I think would transition their games nicely. But the question is really how would bigs of 20 years ago transition to the modern NBA? And if you think about some of the names, a Kurt Thomas, a P.J. Brown type, how are those players going to adapt? I went back and I looked at Clarence Witherspoon, right? A six foot six power forward. He played more than 10 years in the NBA. In 2000, 2001 with the Cavs, he played 34 minutes per game. You know, he's a power forward at 6'6", who could not shoot three-pointers, zero, average zero attempts per game, right? That just would not happen nowadays to see a forward play 34 minutes a game and not attempt a three-pointer. I think really what this comes down to is kind of the role players, the reserves, their games would really have to be altered 20 years later. It's not the stars as much. I think they are so good, they are so transcendent that they would fit in at any era, but I think really what this comes down to is how would the bench players, the reserves, the role players fit in, and I think KG, you know, his point has some credence, has some rights um, 20 years later. Yeah, and I think the wing depth is much greater now, too. If you think back and look at, like, who, who were the wings that Michael Jordan had to face, the, the best ones were on his team, right? Scotty Pippen and Dennis Rodman were the guys you'd probably want to guard Michael Jordan, but overall, I just think the players today are, are more dangerous with the, the respect to the guys in, in the past, again, and the ability to adapt but I don't know, you know, if the league has ever been harder to guard. In fact, I know it hasn't.